Hi everyone, I'm Dan Joseph, and this is the Week in Liberalism for the week of Monday, May 16th, 2016. Monday. Over the weekend, Bernie Sanders supporters decided to throw a riot in Las Vegas. They believed that the Nevada Democratic Convention was stolen from their candidate and responded by freaking out and throwing stuff. Security was brought in to quell the angry socialists, and they called in Senator Barbara Boxer to calm things down. We need civility. Now, when you boo me, you're booing Bernie Sanders. Go ahead. Yay. You're booing Bernie Sanders. <laughs> Can't we boo you both? I don't see why this has to be an either-or situation. something? I grew up in Brooklyn. Whoa, okay, okay, don't hurt me. Just take my wallet. I don't want any trouble, Senator. A simple voice vote will clear this up. Hi, the body. All those in favor, say hi. Clear as mud. What a bitch. Is that a microaggression? I'm pretty sure that's a microaggression. No! 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 Tuesday. Vermont's private Burlington College announced that it would be closing its doors permanently because of a crushing weight of debt amassed by none other than Bernie Sanders' wife, who formerly served as the school's president. Mrs. Sanders had taken out a $10 million loan in 2010 on the school's behalf, then apparently left it for the next president to pay the loan back, which didn't happen. Ha <laughs> twinsies! In related news, the state of Vermont has officially changed its name to Northern Venezuela. Wednesday, the Environmental Protection Agency honored a puppet theater group that, quote, inspires environmental action through their performances. That's some footage of the group. The puppet group actually receives federal government money, which serves as definitive proof that our government has a vested interest in giving American children crippling nightmares. Where's my money? Hi. What do you mean? I'm a puppet. I want some of that sweet government puppet money. <laughs> well, in order for the NEA to give you money, you have to prove that you make a contribution to society in some way. What do you do to make America a better place? I warn children about the dangers of drinking paint. Uh, okay. Don't drink paint, kids, or else you'll end up like me. Why? What happened to you? I'm Debbie Wasserman Schultz's hairstylist. Oh. Also, I run the TSA. Point taken. Got any paint? No. Darn! All right, look, man, I, I got a show to do here. Just go away. Go, Bernie Sanders! Get. What just happened? Thursday. Liberals were devastated Thursday after a new poll was released showing that 90% of Native Americans do not find the name of the Washington Redskins offensive. They still want the team's name changed, however, because Native Americans do not want to be associated with a team that is terrible at football Friday. A theater group in New York City is putting on a production of Shakespeare's The Tempest in Central Park in which an all-female cast performs the play entirely naked. The theater company explained that not wearing clothes is about body freedom and free expression. The performance itself is free to the public, but as with most performances involving naked women, tips are appreciated. So, maketh it rain, Shakespeare fans! I'm Dan Joseph, and that was the Week in Liberalism for the week of Monday, May 16th, 2016. See you next time. Hey, would somebody help me open this paint? My arms don't work. <sighs>